we went, went to Paris! Paris. European vacation and we visited France and some parts in Italy but we flew into Paris and the first stop we went the catacombs great place to start off our vacation is all death the, and yeah. bones seriously all the skulls and yeah so we started our trip with a little bit of death and decay and learned a lot of the history of the catacombs this place has collapsed a couple of times already and it's pretty scary just to think about that yeah we're walking through the catacombs we took the audio tour so we were listening to it as we we're walking through and they were talking about how it's collapsed so many times it was very unsettling um and actually i was glad to get out of there when we did <laughs> yeah uh the feeling of once you get down there it feels very cold and it, because it is underground it's at least 15 degrees colder than it is outside as we continue down the depths of the catacombs we learned some history as to why the catacombs were even created i didn't learn this until during the tour but paris had their cemeteries that were overrun and it was beginning to be very unsafe for people to live and walk the streets because of all of the bodies. There's remains of over six million people down there. And they're all just stacked up on each other. It's really cool though because they got creative with the bones. They created different like little hearts and patterns out of the bones, which is kind of morbid, but beautiful in itself. But it was definitely really surreal being down there. It definitely had a vibe of like, I can't believe we're walking through like just these halls of bones, people's remains, human beings. It was definitely a somber feeling down there. It was. Jeez. Well, we didn't spend too much time down there, so no. we made it out alive. And just in time for some good old wine. Oh. Yes, give me some wine after my flight. We actually ended up getting two flights of wine. Yes, we got some reds and some whites, and they're all from France. And let us tell you how great these were. So we are not like super crazy wine drinkers, but after this trip, we had tasted some of the best, most finest wines. And now we only get wines from France or Italy. The wine was just so good. And the meats and cheese. Oof. Oh. So good. So this was actually our pre-dinner. Yeah. Pre-dinner. And for those of you who want to know what this place is called, it's called Au Chateau. And it was actually recommended by a couple of friends of ours. So after our pre-dinner, we headed to another location called A Pied de Couton. What did you get? I got the baked Scottish salmon. Yum. Yeah, with some potatoes. Some potatoes, and then I got some scallops with, what is this called? Shell, shellfish and uh, parmesan risotto. Risotto. Mm. Good? Oh, that's really good. <laughs> It was really, really yummy, and we actually got this super cute little piggy ice cream dessert that they're known for, and this was just to die for. So good. Would recommend just for the pig. Bonjour. Bonjour. It is 6.30 a.m. Yeah, couldn't sleep. <laughs> the sun just rose. Um, we couldn't sleep. We've been up for the past three hours tossing and turning, and we just decided, hey, let's go get some cool photos of the loo. Yeah, sunrise. Well, I mean, the sun already rose. A little bit. But um, hopefully it's not crowded. That's, we want to yeah. avoid the crowd, so we want to get like a super good picture. So we're walking over right now, and then we're going to grab some breakfast. And by that I mean bread and coffee. Uh-huh. 
and is, then <laughs> that's the traditional breakfast here yes and then we have an appointment to go into the Louvre at 9 30. yeah can't <laughs> wait I'm excited me too we so much some art. Awesome art oh my gosh it's stuff that I used to study in art school uh -huh. and I never thought that I would ever see it in person and we're here. Get to see it today. Yes. We're here. I'm so excited. Yeah. So yeah, it's our first full day in Paris. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we did a little bit of walking around and we found this really cool hallway. Look how awesome it is. It's so empty. I feel like I should be shooting like a Dior. Look at this. <laughs> like Look at this. You are commercial. Looks so nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you. Okay, so we were on the other side of the gates where we weren't supposed to be. <laughs> we just got asked to, to come out, but still, like we're on the other side. Like you can see the Louvre right here. And actually we spotted the Eiffel Tower. There's the Eiffel Tower. So I want to say that the Louvre, for me by far, is probably my favorite museum. Definitely. There was so many art pieces here that I studied in college and to actually see them in person in so, so many different pieces of art from different time eras in one location, it was just amazing. And I've heard nothing but good things about the Louvre and I can say that this is the best art museum that I've ever gone to. Oh yeah, for sure. They're known for having Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. Which we saw, she has her own room and- It's a big room. There's a lot of people around. Security. Yeah, they don't let you get close to the painting. You have to stay like 20 feet back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and there's a reasoning for that. There, It's been stolen before, so that's why it's heavily secured it. Secured it? Secured it. <laughs> that's not even a word. Secured it. <laughs> well, what the hell? Secured it. <laughs> secured. My special baby. I make my own words up sometimes. <laughs> Stop. But it was amazing to see the paintings, the beautiful decorations on the ceiling, the humongous, like, I never knew people actually made paintings this big. They like literally took up the whole wall. Yeah. And sculptures. sculptures. Really famous sculptures. A lot of sculptures. So we had a tour guide, and the tour guide told us that if we wanted to see every single piece, it would take us three months if we spent 15 seconds on each piece. That's how big it is. Three months. Three months, 15 seconds each on piece. On every single piece. Yeah. We obviously we did not. No. <laughs> I think we missed a lot of it, but we were just like, oh, ooh, wow. <laughs> exactly. So next up, we took a train to see the Eiffel Tower. And it's huge. Photos and videos don't do it justice. No. It is surreal being there, like seeing it and just, cause you hear so much about it. It's one of the most iconic landmarks, landmarks. of the world. Yeah, and to see it in person, it just feels like it's fake. Like it's not there, but it is. Amazing. We're here at the top of the mountain. Hey, look. hey what are you doing? Oh. Taking video. Oh, <laughs> I'm uh, doing my poses for Instagram. <laughs> you caught me. <laughs> We're here and I can't believe it. It's huge. I wish we had more time to spend there because we kind of, I, I don't know why we were a little bit late uh, to getting there. And then we actually had to go to the Moulin Rouge. We had tickets to the Moulin Rouge. I okay. mean, come on. The oh, Moulin cute, Rouge. cute, for us. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta go to the Moulin Rouge. Well, here we go. got out of the show. We weren't allowed to film the show because there was a lot of titties. 
<laughs> you just couldn't film because lots they don't want you to spoil. Tea. No, it was so good. Like, yeah. besides the titties that were like <laughs> flawless, like, it was so good. I didn't know what to expect. Okay, spoiler alert ponies. Ponies? Ponies, they oh. have like. A woman contortionist. Yeah, contortionist. A woman diving into uh, like a, a pool of full snakes. Of snakes. Um, she was like dang, like wrapping herself around. Her they have like, like these amazing roller skaters. Like I know how that sounds. I know, I know, but like amazing roller skaters yeah, who are doing these tricks. Like, like I could not even. Like it exceeded my expectations. The food was the food was okay. It was good. We met some like really nice people at our yeah. table, so we made friends. Um, that was nice. But yeah, I would I would recommend this to oh, anyone yeah. who was visiting. It was a lot of fun. There were kids inside too, so if you're like not shy of titties, <laughs> then <laughs> or you know, I you guess know, your parents whatever. are good with you saying that. Nature, it's nature. Oh, and, yeah. It's the human body. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what we're doing now. Uh, yeah. Don't know what we're doing. It's hard to follow up that act. Seriously, uh, let's go get let's go somewhere and get a drink. Okay. This is your pizza. Oh yes, girl. Yes. Oh, yes. Look at that pepperoni. About to be one. We're about to eat. What do we have? Two americano. Oh. Un chocolate croissant. Mm -hmm. Et un croissant de almond. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, and then I have. <laughs> I have um. Is this a baguette? Yeah, I think it's pretty um, Yeah, it is good. And then you got a sandwich. I got a sandwich. It's like the, the club sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, but... I think we're, we're just starting to get adjusted. Yeah, we're starting to get adjusted to the time, but we did go to bed late last night, and we missed one of our plans we did. to sleep. But I think it was worth it because you can't enjoy something if you're tired. No, absolutely no. not. And I think we're just going to take advantage of this well, this opportunity to take photos. Yes. Try and buy cherry blossoms. Cherry blossoms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Time to eat. Time to eat. And in our last and final full day in Paris, we went to a couple of different places. We went to Saint Chapelle, which, which was beautiful oh yeah the stained glass art there was amazing i have no idea how long it took to do all of that but it was beautiful we were first on the bottom floor and we didn't realize that there was a second floor so we took the stairs up and like right when you come up to the entrance it's just like this magnificent glorious like angelic room where there's just a bunch of stained like beautiful stained glass art and it seriously felt majestic. This is crazy. Look at how angelic that looks. Yeah, you look angelic. Oh, come on now. <laughs> All right, St. Chapelle checked off the list. Check. It's awesome. Yeah. So beautiful inside. Yeah, I was just thinking about how much work went into each one of those stained glass pieces. A lot. How long did it take? A lot. A long time. So now we're walking over to the Notre Dame. And I see a cherry blossom. I see a cherry blossom too. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. Please, that's one of the reasons why we came during this time is to see the cherry blossoms and we haven't seen any, so. It's like actually nice at this time of year because a lot of people say it gets really crowded. Yeah, it's but. like at the beginning of the season. Yeah. Um, tourist season. Yeah, I could only imagine how crazy it gets. Oh yeah. We made it. We oh, made it. The bell's going off. Quasimodo is 
Ring in the bell tower. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. A little hunchback of Notre Dame. We're not going inside. The line is too long. Oh, it's insane. We don't have tickets for this one. So we're just hanging out, enjoying the view. Yeah. All right, we are leaving the Notre Dame, but it's right back there. We're gonna stop at a bookstore called Shakespeare and Co. It's supposed to be a really cute um, and quaint little bookstore, so we're gonna check it out and see what kind of books they have. If they have anything unique, then we might just get it. Oh, and Red's taking pictures of the cherry blossom behind me. I need bobby pins though, but it'll do. It'll do. Okay, stop filming me now. After that, we walked over to the Pantheon. We made it to the Pantheon. Yeah, it's a nice walk. Yeah, it was a nice walk. Here it is. Ooh, wow. We grabbed a quick bite and then tried to catch the sunset at a garden. So we came to the Jardin Las Plants and there's a full bloom cherry blossom behind me. We just took some photos. The sunset looks amazing. Can't really tell <laughs> with this camera, but um, I did a little jacket change. This is, we're taking photos of some of my pieces for Moody Me um, called Sakura, inspired from our trips in Japan, but it's one of the jackets. So look how pretty this blossom tree looks. So nice, the sun is hitting it like the perfect way. So after I did a little photo shoot, we didn't get enough of the Eiffel Tower. So we decided to go back at night and see it at night and it actually lights up really pretty. Um, unfortunately, we found out that uh, you cannot show images or video of the Eiffel Tower at night. Mm -hmm. because it's copyrighted. Yeah, so um, it looks something like this. Just, just like imagine, that. just imagine this is the Eiffel Tower. It's all lighting up and stuff. And this is, yeah, the light. I hope this gives you a clear visual. You never have to see it. See, we did it for you. How wonderful. <laughs> and that completed our trip to Paris, France. Honestly, I loved Paris. I did too. I really liked Paris a lot. I did too. The food was amazing, the wine, the sights. Yeah. And I've heard things about French people not liking Americans, and I didn't get any of that. No. For the most part, they were really nice. They were all really nice and accommodating. Yeah, really nice and, you know... Except the, for the one guy at the catacombs. Oh, yeah. Way to, way to start off the trip, hmm. guy. It's all right. He's working around dead people, so what else can you expect? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so that was the beginning portion of our European trip. Uh, next up, we went to Italy. Italy. Ooh. And we'll have a two-part vlog for that, so stay tuned, guys. We hope you enjoyed our vlog. We love sharing our travels with you. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, and hit that notification bell. Bing, bing, bing. Just like the Eiffel Tower. Bing, 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 Thanks for watching. See you later. See you guys.